Okay, so I'll bring this down here. And uh, we had started this ATM class. Right now it's a very simple class. It has a display balance and it accepts one bank account. Um, that's by design for now. Um, we'll do that uh, to introduce a concept and we'll uh, eventually make this private account into a vector of accounts. But for now we'll, we'll just start with one account. We go to main, uh, we see that we <clears throat> created an ATM account, we pass it in a bank account, and then we were able to display the balance. Not, nothing exciting here. Uh, we'll continue developing this. So we'll go to the ATM, we want balance. Uh, sometimes we uh, want to deposit, right? So nowadays uh, you can deposit. So we'll say make a deposit, that's what I want to do. And we have to go and write some code for this function. So how is this working? So the ATM class is now using the bank account class, right? So that's what object-oriented programming is all about. Uh, we model something from the real world and we try to uh, bring it to life with code. So let me jump. Let me see here. Mm. Is that one? Mm. Mm, maybe I should name this with meaningful names. That way it won't be here. Uh, okay. Uh, not that one yet. Not that one. Not that one. okay <laughs> okay so we have uh, an account class and now we have a, uh, a class that models an ATM <clears throat> so we want to understand that the ATM class will use one account class and that's how it'll uh, get its functionality from so so we can say that the ATM is kind of like a, a facade right it's just the front end to a uh, another class to the account class so that's what we did here notice we have uh, the ATM class here and it's creating its own functions but behind the scenes we are using uh, the bank account class like to get the balance and here we'll use the bank account class to uh, make a deposit so we'll go here and uh, we need C in, so we'll say uh, using C in here. Uh, auto uh, amount uh, will default to zero for now. Remember, auto leaves the account type definition to whatever value we set. So here it knows that zero is an integer or whole whole number. That's good enough for now. So we say C out enter amount to uh, deposit and then we say capture input or character input whatever we get from the keyboard send it to that amount variable and then we can say account dot deposit amount okay for now we're, we're assuming um, for the most part in this case we always assume that we're going to get the correct data right i don't pay too much attention to data validation because uh, you can go and find it on Google, but it's a lot harder to like understand the concepts, right? So I focus more on concepts than on bells and whistles. Okay, so we have deposit, so now we can go to main <clears throat> and we can say atm dot uh, make a deposit. So we display balance, then we will make a deposit, and then maybe. Uh, display balance again for now we're going to fix this up for now we're just trying to get a handle as to how to use that ATM class with the bank account class <clears throat> so we'll go here examples uh, classes uh, running terminal okay. 
and uh, enter amount to deposit 100. So now we have a balance of 35.91, and balance of 35.91 it is displayed again. I did this with a purpose, right? So we have C out balance. We want to display the balance for this account, okay? And notice that the ATM balance matches the account balance. And I hope you understand why this symbol here is the reason why the reference so when I was creating this class in the previous lecture I said we we don't want to copy a bank account we want the original bank account so once we say this and we use a reference then whatever bank account we pass in we are referencing its original memory location so we will be modifying its balance which is what we want right? I mean, if we send a copy then our, our bookkeeping is going to be off and we'll be looking for another job, another job, right? So let me explain what I mean. So if we uh, go here and go here, right? And let me put a space here. So now I do not have the reference or the memory operator. So I go back to main and I'm like, okay, let me run this program, run in terminal. <clears throat> so 2470 uh, deposit 100, and uh, that is uh, correct. But notice the second balance is 2470, which proves the point that if we do not use references, a copy of bank accounts created, and ATMs using a copy. It is modifying an account, but not the one we, we need modified, right? So if we would forget to put a reference and we'd be testing, then we'd be wondering why the balance is not changing. And in this case, it's because we're not uh, using references. If I go back here and go back to using a reference, then everything's back to normal, how it should work, right? And we want to keep the balance uh, live or <clears throat> across ATM calls because eventually we have to get that balance and save it back to the, to the database. So, and if it's not the correct account, we're we're not going to be changing. We're always going to be saving the same balance, right? So, that's not good. So we go run again. And we deposit 100. And notice now we have 8773 two times, meaning now we are working with the original bank account. Okay, so we have to be uh, mindful of that, not, not to forget, because it can make us lose a lot of time. Okay, so now we go back into uh, ATM and let's make deposit, make a withdrawal, right? So we're not going to worry about multiples of. 20 or anything like that. We just, we just want functionality here. So we go here and <clears throat> make withdrawal part of the ATM class with the scope operator. And auto amount zero, and then we say uh, enter uh, withdrawal amount. For now, we, we don't care. Like any withdrawal, <laughs> we're okay with, right? <clears throat> amount and then we say account dot withdraw and then we pass in the amount okay and we go back to main and let's go ahead and uh, after this then we say ATM dot <clears throat> make withdrawal and we will withdraw 100 oops I have to type it in right sorry I wanted to uh, copy this display balance here and this display balance here so one is for main and the other ones within the ATM class that's what we're doing here let me come here clear 
and then we run in terminal. Okay, 3327, uh, deposit 100, uh, withdraw 100, 3327. So 3427 twice, 3327 twice, everything is good. And uh, that's what we want. Right? Questions here so far? On how we are using the ATM as kind of like the front end and the ATM, the accounts, the one that's doing the heavy lifting and, and ATM is just using it. And so that's object oriented programming, objects collaborating with each other. <clears throat> Okay, so far, no questions. So we we have a display balance, make deposit, and make withdrawal. <clears throat> but uh, our interface here is kind of, I mean, it's not really what we want, right? So maybe uh, we need to create a menu uh, that displays uh, options, display balance, um, deposit, withdrawal. <clears throat> and then the, we go from there and uh, modify this program right so I think let me uh, at least check this in so this can be like a snapshot of what we did right now so I'll say uh, ATM basic use with account okay so that, that way we know like okay that's how we're using it so let me make a commit and let's send a change so that changes into my repository okay so now what we want is well we actually want to at least resemble those old school ATMs right they have the text uh, nowadays most uh, I've seen a lot of ATMs now that display the, the graphical interface right but uh, we can't use graphical interface on a remote computer because I'm not sure that they configured it for us so we have to stick with DOS okay so for now let's leave this here let's go to ATM and let's start uh, with a menu right so let me go here and we say okay so we create a menu to display some items and then we give some definitions right so let me be explicit here three functions not part of the ATM class okay so again uh, free functions not part of the ATM class meaning we can use this uh, anywhere and we don't have to prefix an ATM okay so we say C out and number one uh, we say uh, I guess deposit and C out uh, to withdraw and three uh, display balance And four, exit. So that's a function that will help us display menu. And then we go back to our run menu. So we can create run menu function here. Uh, but this run menu will take in for now an ATM class, right? So it will take an ATM. Uh, let me think here. Mm -hmm. Thinking here. Uh, I'll pass in a reference. Okay. Control C and let's give it some definition. So we go here and it's like, okay, when you run, uh, we need an option from the user, like, what do they want to do? And then we can say do 
So do tab gives you like that code completion. So we say uh, Apple option not equal three, right? Or four. Option not equal four. So if options not equal four, we want to keep on displaying the menu running the loop. Okay. And then we say see out enter uh, menu option character input uh, save keyboard data into option and then we need a handle uh, menu option function but we don't have that defined yet we'll have to uh, define it <clears throat> so we need the option and uh, let me think here I'm trying to write it so we don't have to change a lot of code later on. So I'm thinking here. Okay, so um, we send in an account. We've not defined this function yet. We have to define it. But first, we need to go back to the ATM class. We need a way of accessing this guy here. Like we need a way of uh, making it accessible uh, to our code. So right now it's private. And uh, we cannot access it, I think here. Um, so that's probably not the best way to take this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> For now, we'll just pass the ATM and then we'll worry about the account, right? Since we're only dealing with one account and then I'll have to rework this. Okay, so let's define handle menu. So we go here. Uh, handle menu. And we need an integer option. And then we need an ATM reference. And that should do it for us for now. And then we can go give it some life. So we go here and let's okay. So if we get that, then we need some switch statement or if statement, don't matter, right? So for now, we'll say switch. So switch and the option will be that target variable and case one. And then we need case two, uh, case three, and case four, case two, case three, case four, else, right? So that, that should be okay. So if we, see, if we see case one, then we need a deposit, I think, right? So make deposit. And if we have case two, then that's uh, make a withdrawal and if we see uh, number three then we know display balance and if we see four then uh, we'll be exiting and if we get default or else then we'll say invalid option <clears throat> okay so questions uh, so far here what we're doing no it makes sense 
Okay, so no questions so far. So let's go back to, let me see, I think, I think we got this ATM stuff. Okay, we have three new uh, free functions. They're not part of ATM. And uh, we need to go to main. And now we can get rid of uh, this piece here. We'll still keep that one. Okay, uh, okay, so run menu. We need an ATM object, so ATM takes in an account. Uh, let's give it a name <clears throat> ATM. We pass in the ATM function argument. <clears throat> and notice how our main uh, program got smaller, right? But we've uh, hidden away all the, the work, right? All the work is being done here, right? So, and that's that's what you'll see when you go over places, right? Like you'll see that the main program is small, but then there's a lot of classes or functions that are handling a lot of the work behind the scenes. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, bank account, ATM, run menu, ATM. And let's uh, try to give it a run here. So let me clear. Clear. Uh, let me check one more time. Okay. So maybe I'll do a backslash and there. Okay. So let's run it. Uh, run in terminal. Okay, so display balance, uh, 2233, and then we get the menu option again, and then uh, we say uh, deposit 100, so I deposited 100, I guess to be nice we could show them the balance, right, uh, that way they don't have to select balance, so, so 23. 33 and they had 2233 initially so we're good and then let's go ahead and uh, do number two withdraw so withdraw 100 on display balance on 2233 which was the original balance right so at 100 deduct 100 we're back to square one uh, number four exiting and notice our balance is good right so where did that balance statement come from here meaning we are uh we're good right like it's it's changing well maybe i should have really modified it right but we can be very sure that it's changing we are using references and that's uh how we can use classes one or more in a program and then we can also use them with with functions to create some program that at least gives us an idea as to how to put the the concepts we're learning together into some program that does something for someone right uh any questions so far here <laughs> okay, so far, uh, no questions. Okay, so let me see here. Let me uh, lost my tab. Let me open a tab. So if you were wondering, like, are we gonna like create some program that shows us how to put this uh, these concepts together, right? So. I usually wait till we start objects and then I create some program. This will be the ATM program. Everything you've learned up to now, we will uh, use it. We've not used the loop here. We will eventually, uh, but for now, not yet. Let me uh, see here. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, excuse me, sorry, I have just eaten. I just wanna make sure that I didn't miss anything. So let me look at this Mm 
Mm, now we're, we're okay so far. Okay, so I was going to introduce the next topic, but I don't think I am, right? So uh, I know probably a lot of students are uh, thinking about their midterm programming or, or their midterm theory. So uh, I'll stop here. Uh, if you have questions, I'm here available to answer midterm questions of any kind. Right? I'll, I'll guide you, whatever. If you do not have questions,